Ten English phrasal verbs about socializing from EspressoEnglish.net. Number one, ask someone over. If you ask someone over, it means you invite the person to your house or apartment. For example, we asked our English teacher over for lunch. Number two, ask someone out. If you ask someone out, it means you invite the person to go out for a date, a romantic encounter. Bill was nervous, but he finally asked Jessica out, and she said yes. Number three, come over. If a person comes over, they go visit your home. If you come over after class, we can work on the project together. Number four, bring over, to bring an object to someone's home. I'll bring over my DVD collection so that we can watch some movies. Number five, have someone over. This is the general phrasal verb for having someone visit your home. We had about fifteen people over for Christmas dinner. Number six, pop in, stop in, and stop by. These all mean to visit for a short period of time. I just stopped by to say hi. I'm on my way to dance class. Number seven, drop in, to visit unexpectedly. My sister always drops in when I'm in the middle of something important. I wish she'd call first. Number eight, drop someone off. When you take someone in your car and then leave them at another place, my husband's flight leaves at four thirty, so I'll drop him off at the airport by two. Number nine, pick someone up. When you go to a place and get someone in your car. This is the opposite of drop someone off. My husband gets back from London tomorrow, and I need to pick him up from the airport. Number ten, meet up with someone, to get together at a particular place and time. I'm going to meet up with some friends at the bar around eight thirty. Thanks for watching English tips from Espresso English. If you liked this video, please share it.